What is up Karatics? So for the past few months I've been getting tons of questions as to which cars are the best for racing in each class currently in 2023 after the Drug Wars DLC is coming to an end. So I decided to put all of them in one video to make it easy for you guys. So these cars are mainly chosen based on Bruffy 1322's track testing and some of my personal experience in racing as well. I will leave the link to his channel down below in the description if you haven't subscribed to him and you really should sub to him because he is undoubtedly the king of car testing for GTA by far. Now keep in mind that the cars chosen are factoring in a combination of handling, acceleration, and top speed for optimal track performance. So again, the cars chosen are not chosen based only off acceleration or only off top speed or short airport drag races or anything like that. It's a combination of multiple factors and the overall best cars for actual racetracks with turns. Also, for those of you on a budget in GT Online, I've decided to also add in my budget car recommendations as well for players who can't afford the pricier cars at the top of some of the classes. And the last important thing I want to mention here is that the HSW cars will also be included in this list. Now, for those of you who don't know what HSW is, it's basically high performance upgrades that make certain cars go a lot faster. Now the HSW upgrade is only available on current gen, meaning PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. Currently it is not available for PC, PS4, or Xbox One. So we're gonna start with the slower classes first and then work our way to the faster ones. So let's go ahead and get started with the bicycles class. The best one for racing in that class is any of the three race bikes. Now keep in mind that you don't actually need to buy any of these because they aren't customizable. So you can just pick any of the three race bikes in the selection screen if you ever come across a bicycles race. Moving on to the utilities class, the best one is the Saddler pickup truck. You can steal and store this one off the street for free or of course you can buy it for $35,000. This is probably one of the least race classes up there with the bicycles class. but. Definitely worth having in your garage since it's essentially for free. Now onto the Vans class, we have the Gang Burrito and the Rumpo Custom. Now you only need to buy one of these. I personally recommend the Gang Burrito as it's a little cheaper and not as top heavy as the Rumpo Custom, which has a tendency to go on two wheels and tip over a lot. So Gang Burrito overall a bit better in my opinion. Moving on to the Compacts class, we have the BF Club and the Brioso RA with the HSW upgrade if you're on current gen. Now these two are pretty closely matched, however the BF Club is a lot easier to drive with better handling, whereas the HSW Brioso's main strength comes from straight line speed, which is really the only time I would recommend picking it over the club, is when you have tracks with longer straightaways where it can use that power. Now as for the budget car for this class, it would probably be the regular Brioso RA, but keep in mind that it's still way off the pace of the BF Club and of course the HSW Brioso. So if you truly want to compete in that class, you're unfortunately going to have to spend that $1.3 million on the BF Club or the $1.2 million HSW Brioso. Now onto the Coupes class, we have the Karen Previon and the Sentinel XS with the HSW upgrade if you're on current gen. Now for most tracks, the Previon will be faster. However, for tracks with longer straightaways slash top speed sections, you're gonna wanna use the HSW Sentinel XS. Now as for the budget car for this class, it would be the Ubermach Zion, which is a car you can get off the street and store it for free. And it's surprisingly not too far off the million dollar Previon. Moving on to the muscle car class, we have the Buffalo STX and the Vigero ZX with the HSW upgrade. Now the HSW Vigero is the king for most tracks. However, if HSW is turned off or you're on old gen, you're definitely gonna wanna use the Buffalo STX. Plus the Buffalo is a lot easier to drive as well, so really just depends on the race, but the speed of the Vigero is just so crazy that it's kind of hard to compete, especially when it has the HSW upgrade. 
Now, as for the budget car for this class, it would be the Pizwazer Dominator, at least in my opinion. This car is free for all players and can still compete pretty well with most of the top five cars, depending on the track. Very great car for sure, especially for free. Now, onto the sedans class, we have the Shinkwamila and the Reinhardt. These two are extremely close in terms of performance. So honestly, just buy the one that you think looks better. Now as for the budget car for this class, it would be the Shafter V12. Now keep in mind that this car is in the sports class, but it's usable in sedan races and only costs $116,000. It's basically the third fastest car for sedan races, and it's actually pretty competitive depending on the track. Moving on to the SUVs class, we have the Tauros and the Astron Custom with the HSW upgrade if you're on current gen. Now the Tauros is quicker on most tracks, however the HSW Astron has that top speed advantage, but with worse handling. So again, it's really track dependent. As with most of these HSW cars, they usually only have the strength in terms of straight line speed, but then the other non-HSW car has the strength in terms of handling. Really just depends. Now, as for the budget vehicle for this class, it would actually be the Tauros at only 498000 Moving on to the Sports Classics class, we have the Turismo Classic with the HSW upgrade and the Sterling GT with the HSW upgrade. Now, these two are insanely close on most tracks. However, the Sterling GT does handle a bit better. So, again, it really just depends on the track or even which one you just like more. Now, when HSW is turned off or you're on old gen, the best two cars to choose from would be the regular Turismo Classic or the Cheetah Classic. And the same situation here, both are really closely matched, so just pick the one you like better. And as for the budget car for this class, it would actually be the Turismo Classic, the regular one obviously. Sports Classics cars in general are not very cheap. And about 700,000, I believe the Turismo Classic is a very, very good deal. Moving on to the off-roads class, we have the Draugr and the BF400. Now keep in mind that this bike is in the motorcycles class, but it is usable in off-road races. And it surprisingly only costs $95,000 and is insanely quick, especially if you're constantly doing wheelies. Now to note, there are some custom races with deep water areas where the BF400 just can't compete. So for those races, again, the best one will be the Draugr. Now as for the budget vehicle for this class, I would probably recommend the Sanchez. You can get this dirt bike off the street for free or purchase it for $7,000. But if you're able to, I mean, it's not that much money. I would definitely suggest getting the BF400 for 95000 It's a lot faster. Now onto the tuners class, which is more of a subclass rather than an actual class in itself, which is mainly comprised of cars from the tuners DLC. We have the Sultan RS Classic, the Vector, and the Calico GTF. Now all three of these are extremely competitive, so just pick whichever one you like better. However, as an all-rounder, I personally recommend the Calico as it has the highest top speed of the three. Plus, it has insane acceleration, can get out of situations really quickly with that acceleration, and the handling is pretty good as well. Now, the Jester RR is also a choice for higher top speed tuner races. Again, it's just, it just varies per race, but if you want a car that pretty much does it all, it does everything very, very uh, well, I would say the Calico GTF is my pick. Now, as for the budget car for this class, there honestly really isn't one as all these cars cost over a million dollars. So again, just pick one of the top three cars I mentioned and just hope it comes on sale or on a prize ride or casino podium or something like that. But anyways, moving on to the sports class, we have the Itali GTO, the Pariah, and the S95 with the HSW upgrade if you're on current gen. Now, these three are extremely competitive depending on the track. However, the S95 with the HSW upgrade will dominate on tracks that have any straightaways that are a bit longer due to its higher top speed. But if you're on old gen, the GTO is the one I recommend to most people. 
Now, as for the budget car for this class, it would be the LG RH8, which is actually free for people who have a social club account. This car is very fast around corner intensive tracks with its good handling and acceleration. It can still wedge its way into top 10 depending on the track. Now, for the supercars class, we have the weaponized Ignis with the HSW upgrade, the Cyclone 2 with the HSW upgrade, and the Divest 8 with the HSW upgrade. Now, deciding which one to use is very track dependent, but for most tracks, the HSW weaponized Ignis is the one you're going to want to choose. And for tracks with longer straightaways, you're going to want to use the HSW Divest 8. Now, if HSW is turned off or you're on old gen, you're going to want to use the Emirates, the Krieger, or the LM87. Now, these three are extremely close competitive wise. So deciding which one to buy is all personal preference. Now, I will say that the Krieger is a lot easier to drive as it's all wheel drive. The Emirates is more difficult since the back end tends to step out sometimes if you're not careful. Plus, there are some stun races where the Divest 8 actually beats the Emirates and the Krieger. But again, for most tracks and situations, the Krieger is definitely the better overall choice if you're on old gen or again, if HSW is turned off. Now, as for the budget vehicle for this class, that would be the Wagner, in my opinion, if you want a chance at competing with the Emirates and the Krieger. Now, moving on to the motorcycles class, we have the Hakachu Drag with the HSW upgrade. This thing is an absolute beast and has one of the highest top speeds in the entire game. Now, if HSW is turned off or you're on old gen, the bike you're going to want to use is the Power Surge. This is an electric motorcycle that has an insane wheelie speed boost on top of the fact that it's really insanely quick. Great handling. I mean, the bike just completely dominates the old kings, which were the regular Hakachu Drag and the Shotaro. So, yeah, very, very quick bike. Now, as for the budget vehicle for this class, it would be the Batty 801, in my opinion. This bike only costs $15,000 and has good handling and of course allows you to wheelie which gets you to ridiculous top speeds to have a chance at competing with the top bikes. And lastly we have the open wheels class. Now currently we have four open wheel cars in the class and the benefactor BR8 is currently the king. Now as for the budget car for this class there really isn't one as all of these pretty much cost over three million dollars so I would highly recommend waiting to buy one if it's on sale or of course getting it on a podium slash prize ride. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Now you know the best cars for racing for maybe some vehicle classes you weren't sure about. And of course, I will update the pinned comment as newer and faster cars are released later this year. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.